if you are asked to find the number of protons in a particle, you're going to need a periodic table. The number of protons is the atomic number that corresponds to that element. The atomic numbers are the ones that go up by whole number amounts. One, two, three, four. Not the smaller numbers that you'll find that go up by decimal amounts. Those are atomic masses, not atomic numbers. Let's do a couple of examples here. How many protons are in aluminum? Well, Al on your periodic table is here. It is element number 13. So aluminum atoms have 13 protons in them. It's as simple as that. Let's do a couple more here. Silver, a G, is element number 47. That means 47 protons in each silver atom. That's actually what makes it an atom of silver. And the last element I have as an example here is xenon, because I didn't know this one off by heart myself. Element number 54. You'll have to use your periodic table to find that. Oh, there you go. Now you can see me write it. Now, some teachers will try to trick you and ask you how many protons are in H2O. That's a molecule. And if you were to draw that molecule out, you'd have an H connected to an O and another H. See, there's two H's and one O. I know there's no one written there, but it's kind of like exponents. When it's not there, it's a one. Now, if your teacher's asking you the number of protons in this molecule, you're going to have to figure out how many there are in each of these elements. Each of the hydrogens is one. So that's a one here and a one here. And an oxygen is eight. So if you add all of these up, that particle as a whole is one plus eight plus one or 10 protons. Now, you don't have to draw the molecule to make that happen, right? Each of the hydrogens is one, and there are two of them. You'd have to times by two, because you have two of them, and you add it to however many protons oxygen has, which ended up being eight. Type that in your calculator as is. It also gives you 10. I'm going to do one more, O3, which is ozone, not that you care. Here, each oxygen brings eight protons. Uh, C, oxygen, eight. But there are three of them in this molecule, so you have to times it by three. Each particle of ozone has 24 protons total. But again, that's because you have an O connected to another O connected to another O, and each of those O's has eight on their own. It's not like they're all coalescing and combining into a big chunk that has 24. There just happens to be 8 and 8 and 8. There's three of them, 24 total. Chemists never calculate the total number of protons in a particle, as far as I know. Um, it matters much more that you know that the number of protons in an element is the atomic number from the periodic table. So with that, go forth and get hundreds. Best of luck.